Hello, YouTube. Uh, tonight, I wanted to go through my interpretation of the process of disassembly and reassembly of a Bell and Howell electric eye movie camera. Uh, I can't find anything on it that gives a specific or a more specific model other than electric eye. So it's like so many other Bell and Howells of this type. Um, I'm sure you'll be fine. Now the way I did this, kind of accidentally, is <clears throat> I'm going to have to go through this backwards um, from this state to the reassembly. Uh, when I took it apart, uh, it didn't occur to me to video any of this until after the fact. So this is actually going to be in reverse order from the thing in pieces to reassembling it. So moving right along. I've got the guts here and I've already gone through and oiled it. So I took, took my oil and I hit, let's see, the points there's several on this side, a couple behind this, and some other points you can get as you, you know, roll a camera over in your hand. Uh, this one, um, why I took it apart was it wouldn't turn. Wound up or not, it wouldn't go, and the little trigger thing to make it work was disengaged. So it, it, you couldn't push the shutter release and make it go, but now it turns nice and smooth. So we're going to put it back together. So we've got our guts in a single piece in our case. We're just going to go being careful of the shutter right in like that. And that should lay right down in there. I may not uh, go through every single step, because a lot of it, everybody knows how to drive a screw, so I don't need, really need to, to go through uh, in that kind of detail. Uh, but I'm just going to keep on going here. The only real tricky part, this thing came apart like really easy. The only tricky part I had was getting this, which is the film gate, uh, in here, and of course it just goes in now. Hmm. Alright, whatever. It was a pain in the ass to get out, but it just went right back in. And it looks like, like it's correct. Hold it right, and up where it belongs. Okay, so moving right along. Got the film gate in there. This is the what makes it all work. This is the uh, the light meter, the CED cell, the CED, the uh, selenium cell. Uh, it comes out as a unit. Do not touch that. That is just like mega delicate. So put that back together. You've got the little plastic. I don't know what you call it. The plastic fiber optic thing that transfers light up into the eyepiece. I go around that. set it in there like so and we've got two screws that have to go in to hold the film gate on 
gonna go get those. We will have to line this up because it will not want to stay on its own. In fact, I should have done that before I dropped the screw in. I'll look down there and find that hole. that screw in. I'm not going to crank it down just yet. And then very gently I lift the selenium cell so I can get to the second screw hole. Four screws, one in each corner. They are all the same. Use a slightly bigger screwdriver. And this actually screws it right to the body. Again, I'm not going to crank them down just yet. You don't really crank them down anyway. They just need to be snug. Last one, one in this corner right here had a, a washer on it. I don't know if it serves a purpose or not. I don't know if somebody else had it apart and lost the other three. Uh, but I'm going to put it back where I found it anyway. Okay, now I'm going to snug these all down just a little bit. super fine wires connecting it to the shutter control so I'm going to be very gentle with that and that puts that together and then we want this little dark thing whatever it is and you can see that thing moving around that's how I know <coughs> the shutter is in good shape That's what you want right there. I think to be reactive. <clears throat> I put that down. And I'm going to take the face. Now I've got this thing in the automatic position. It's a little clicky button here that holds it there. It puts a tiny tab right there. It puts it behind the arm what do you want to call it? I don't know what it's called. And that's where you want to keep it. This thing is kind of held in there. Uh, you want to be careful not to just drop it on the, the works. I'm going to lay that down. I want some light on that. Keep that uh, pointer out of the way. And I'm going to get the screws wherever it is up there, right there. And I 
nice shiny one that's going to be visible, so I'll put that one there. Maybe I will show you, be showing you all the screw driving. Don't snug it down yet. Another shiny screw. Oh, no it isn't. It's got some shit on it, so we'll put that one down here where the nameplate was. Slightly spring-loaded. I used to give it part that way. Snug that down. Third one. Which is also a good looking screw. Put this. Ah, know what I did? I didn't put the. Alright, we're gonna stop here so I can put this the uh, shutter release in there. I forgot that. Okay, so what I forgot was this, and that just goes on there like that. There. Just like that, and then you do all the other stuff. And back on track. <clears throat> so, we know this is all back together. I don't know if you can see that or not, probably not. But to make sure that your, your light meter is assembled correctly. Give it some light and watch that needle swing. That looks good. And so from here, <coughs> I'm going to take, put the innards back together. Or at least this part of it. Put that back in there. Uh, let's see. I'm going to take the screws. also stabilize the guts in their place so they're not rattling around while you're trying to work. Oops, don't do that. week. Check for function. Still sounds good. And you can take the rest of the film gate and it's a little spring gizmo. that. This goes on with the curls to the inside or towards the uh, film gate. And find a little screw. Put that in there. Try and hit the hole. on the end of a magnetized screwdriver. Get it in the hole. Try and keep it up straight. Screw 
screw it into place. Make sure it works with that. And then I'm going to go ahead and put this back on there. And that's this piece, the spring, and it's screw. A little surprised by this one. This is a right-handed thread, and most of the ones I've seen, or the ones that I've worked with, have been left-handed. A little bit of a tweak, and that will surprise you too. Make sure and have your hand over it when you're taking that screw off. But this thing will just fly. It did on me the first time. So then, we take our lens pack. Uh, I left the, this is the, I think this is, they call this the, the normal lens, which is like no glass in the upper corner. Set that on there. That spring, which goes down in there, like that. And it's got a teeny little washer and a teeny little screw. Again, being ready to catch it, so I'm gonna probably block whatever view. Tweak. And the face can go back on normal, and I'm, I'm calling it normal. And it's got three screws. One at a time. Once you've got the guts out of this thing, you can do anything you need to to it. Uh, that was all I had to do was get it to loosen up and oil it. There's nothing else bent or broken that I've found anyway. It seems to function quite nicely. This one was in really nice condition. Uh, I got it pretty cheap. I don't remember how much, but it wasn't very much. Nine or ten bucks, maybe. Plus about the same in shipping. Tweaking the screws. Checking function test. We'll look inside here and look for that little film hook thing. There it is. back on it. It has a up and a down. The down side or the lever side has just a, a, a ledge around it. This is more just take it off the way you found it. Or put it back on the way you found it. Pretty obvious which way that goes. And crank it back on there. Give it a try. Cranks nicely. So then the only thing left, <coughs> this gadget, which tells you how much film is left on the spool <coughs> or is on the spool to let you know when you're out of film. I'm not gonna go through that. Uh, it'll take too long, and 
and I've done it in another video and all you have to do is pay attention um, and put it back together the way you found it and it should work fine so I'm just gonna let that one slide but that's what I wanted to show you how to get one of these things apart and of course you've got the nameplate that needs to be glued back on and, uh, there you have it. This one was really easy. There was nothing wrong with it, so there's nothing else to show you. Um, and you're good, good to go. And I think this one's going to be a good working camera. So, until next time. <laughs>